Good evening. We gather tonight to remember our loved ones who have died in the year 2020. Elder Young, it's so good to be with you tonight. Glad here to be with at, you again. Yes, sir. Here at the church to be able to remember those of our loved ones who have died in the year 2020. It's been a rough year. Yes, it has. It's been a difficult and challenging year. And yet, God has been good to us. All of us. All of us. Even in the midst of our grief and even in the midst of death. And so I was one thinking, what would we say about why we gather? What, you know, what our purpose is for the memorial service? And as I thought about that, I thought about how memorial services give us the opportunity to remember, remember our loved ones, remember the good times, the the laughter, the stories that they have shared with us over the years. And then it gives us opportunity to love on our family members, to let them know they are not walking alone through this season of grief, of bereavement, but that we have come alongside with them to help them through the journey. And then the memorial service allows us to give God thanks for a life well lived. And so I'm just glad to be here with you tonight, Elder Young, so that we might be able to remember our loved ones. What a time, what a time. It is just to remember those loved ones and just to share our memories of them. And in saying that, I'd like to share something with them that sticks close to my heart. It says, we thought of you today. We thought of you with love today, but that is nothing new. We thought about you yesterday and days before that too. We think of you in silence. We often speak your name. All we have now are memories and your picture in a frame. Mm. Your memory is our keepsake with whom we will never part. God has you in his keeping we have you in our hearts. If love alone could have saved you, you never would have died. In life, we love you dearly. In death, we love you still. In our hearts, you hold a place no one else could ever feel. It broke our hearts to lose you, but God didn't go, but you didn't go alone. For a part of us went with you the day God took you home. And that gives me strength just to know those memories, whether good or bad, are all good memories to me. And I share that with everyone else, with some that still are grieving. That's good, Elder Young. Thank you. Oren Alexander, grandfather of Aaron Alexander. Fred Barbie. Joyce Barber. Cousin of Sylvia Lowry and Trina Means. Casey Buford. Uncle of Edna Wigfall Crook. Julius Benford, Jr. Father of Julius Benford. Leonard Bernard Brown, brother of Edna Wigfall Creek. William Brown, cousin of Edna Wigfall Creek. Cora Council Bertrand, aunt of Ruth Browning Wayne. Douglas Bernard Cox, 
brother of Edna Wickfall Craig. Dr. James Vernon Cox Jr., cousin of Edna Wakefall Crate. Napoleon Cross, uncle of Stephanie Newsom. Arthur Frank Curriton, son of Lillian. B. Heron. Famous Feaster. Husband of Cindy Feaster. Duana Ford. Sister in law of Jackie Caldwell. Lester Ford, brother of Jackie Caldwell. Thelma Gray Gray, sister of Rogers Gray, sister-in-law of Valerie Gray. Cleveland Hager, mother of Sylvia Lowry and Trina Means. Theo Hall, nephew of Mitzi Wellborn. Sarah Hasty, aunt of Randy Bolton. Arthur Frank Heron, husband of Lillian B. Heron. Carrie E. Howard, Hattie James, mother of Deborah Barber, Jackie Landis, brother of Linda Landis, Brian Pierre McCall. Brother of Eric McCall. Hillary Joe McNeely. Husband of Denise McNeely. Larry Donald Merricks. Brother of Bender Merricks. Leonard, brother-in-law of Carl Leonard. Carl Merritt Sr., father of LaVita Merritt. Samuel McCoy, brother of Gladiolus Gladys Givens. James Eric Potts, brother of Tanya Potts. Dorothy May Simpson, mother of Robert Simpson. Linda Sipes. James Spratley. John Spratley. Lucille Spratley, Tony Taylor, mother of Nicole Benford, Vincent Taylor, Willis Taylor, Custonia Wallace. Aunt of Sylvia Lowry and Trina Means. Viola A. Richardson Wright. Carl Wright. 
Isaiah Wayne, husband of Sylvia Wayne. And just in case the winds keep on blowing in my life, my soul has been anchored in, in the Lord. Realize that sometimes in this life we're gonna be tossed by the waves and the currents that seem so fierce. But you gotta remember in the Word of God, we have an answer that keeps me steadfast, unmovable. Despite the time, but if, if the storms don't cease, and just in case the winds keep on blowing in my life, my soul, my soul has been in the Lord, in the Lord, in the Lord, my mama, 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 my the pillows may roll, the bankers may dash, but I will not sway because he holds me fast. So dark a day. The clouds in the sky, I know it's all right, cause Jesus is love. My soul has been anchored in. My soul, my soul has been anchored in. My soul, my soul has been the Lord. 